Nativity Fast, Wikipedia article audio. The Nativity Fast is a period of abstinence and penance practiced by the Eastern Orthodox, Oriental Orthodox, and Eastern Catholic Churches, in preparation for the Nativity of Jesus. The corresponding Western season of preparation for Christmas, which also has been called the Nativity Fast and St. Martin's Lent, has taken the name of Advent. The Eastern Fast runs for 40 days instead of 4 or 6 weeks and thematically focuses on proclamation and glorification of the Incarnation of God, whereas the Western Advent focuses on the two comings of Jesus Christ, His birth and His second coming or Parousia. The Purpose of Fasting Fasting Rules Liturgical Aspects Four Feast Sunday of the Forefathers Sunday of the Holy Fathers Paramony Fasting during the After Feast Coptic Fast Armenian Fast Notes the Byzantine fast is observed from November 15 to December 24, inclusively. These dates apply to those Orthodox churches which use the revised Julian calendar, which currently matches the Gregorian calendar. For those Eastern Orthodox churches which still follow the Julian calendar, the Winter Lent does not begin until November 28 which coincides with November 15 on the Julian calendar. The ancient Church of the East fasts dawn till dusk from the December 1 until the 25th of December on the Gregorian calendar. Sometimes the fast is called Philip's Fast, as it traditionally begins on the day following the Feast of St. Philip the Apostle. Some churches, such as the Melkite Greek Catholic Church, have abbreviated the fast to start on December 10, following the Feast of the Conception by Saint Anne of the Most Holy Theotokos. Through the discipline of fasting, practiced with humility and repentance, it is believed that by learning to temper the body's primary desire for food, that otherworldly desires can be more easily tempered as well. Through this practice one is better enabled to draw closer to God in the hope of becoming more Christ-like. While the fast influences the body, it is important to note that emphasis is placed on the spiritual facet of the fast rather than mere physical deprivation. Orthodox theology sees a synthesis between the body and the soul, so what happens to one affects the other. The Church teaches that it is not enough to fast from food, one must also fast from anger, greed, and covetousness. In addition to fasting, almsgiving is also emphasized. In the Eastern Orthodox Church, the fast traditionally entails fasting from red meat, poultry, meat products, eggs, dairy products, fish, oil, and wine. Fish, wine, and oil are allowed on Saturdays and Sundays, and oil and wine are allowed on Tuesdays and Thursdays, except in the Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahedo Church. The fasting rules permit fish, and slash or wine and oil on certain feast days that occur during the course of the fast, Evangelist Matthew, Apostle Andrew, Great Martyr Barbara, St. Nicholas, St. Spiridon and St. Herman, St. Ignatius, etc. The Nativity Fast is not as severe as Great Lent or the Dormition Fast. As is always the case with Orthodox fasting rules, persons who are ill, the very young or elderly, and nursing mothers are exempt from fasting. Each individual is expected to confer with their confessor regarding any exemptions from the fasting rules, but should never place themselves in physical danger. There has been some ambiguity about the restriction of fish, 
whether it means the allowance of invertebrate fish or all fish. Often, even on days when fish is not allowed, shellfish may be consumed. More detailed guidelines vary by jurisdiction, but the rules strictly state that from the December 20th to December 24th, no fish may be eaten. The Eve of Nativity is a strict fast day, called Paramoni, on which no solid food should be eaten until the first star is seen in the evening sky. If Paramoni falls on a Saturday or Sunday, the day is not observed as a strict fast, but a meal with wine and oil is allowed after the Divine Liturgy, which would be celebrated in the morning. In some places, the services on weekdays during the fast are similar to the services during Great Lent. Many churches and monasteries in the Russian tradition will perform the Lenten services on at least the first day of the Nativity fast. Often the hangings in the church will be changed to a somber, Lenten color. During the course of the fast, a number of feast days celebrate those Old Testament prophets who prophesied the Incarnation, for instance, Obadiah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Daniel, and the Three Holy Youths. These last are significant not only because of their perseverance in fasting, but also because their preservation unharmed in the midst of the fiery furnace is interpreted as being symbolic of the Incarnation the Virgin Mary conceived God the Word in her womb without being consumed by the fire of the Godhead. As is true of all of the four Orthodox fasts, a great feast falls during the course of the fast, in this case, the entry of the Theotokos. After the apodosis of that feast, Hymns of the Nativity are chanted on Sundays and higher-ranking feast days. The liturgical four-feast of the Nativity begins on December 20, and concludes with the Paramoni on December 24. During this time hymns of the Nativity are chanted every day. In the Russian usage, the hangings in the church are changed to the festive color at the beginning of the four-feast. Two Sundays before Nativity, the Church calls to remembrance the ancestors of the Church, both before the giving of the Law of Moses and after. The Minaan contains a full set of hymns for this day which are chanted in conjunction with the regular Sunday hymns from the Octoechos. These hymns commemorate various biblical persons, as well as the prophet Daniel and the three young men. There are also a special epistle and gospel readings appointed for the Divine Liturgy on this day. The Sunday before Nativity is even broader in its scope of commemoration than the previous Sunday, in that it commemorates all of the righteous men and women who pleased God from the creation of the world up to Saint Joseph. The Minaan provides an even fuller service for this day than the previous Sunday. At the Vespers portion of the all-night vigil three Old Testament parables are read, Genesis 14,14-20, Deuteronomy 1,8-17 and Deuteronomy 10,14-21. The epistle which is read at the Divine Liturgy is a selection from Hebrews 11,9-40. The Gospel is the genealogy of Christ from the Gospel of Matthew. Christmas Eve is traditionally called Paramoni. Paramoni is observed as a strict fast day, on which those faithful who are physically able to, refrain from food until the first star is observed in the evening or after the Vesperal Divine Liturgy, when a meal with wine and oil may be taken. On this day the royal hours are celebrated in the morning. Some of the hymns are similar to those of Theophany and Great and Holy Friday, thus tying the symbolism of Christ's nativity to his death on the cross. The royal hours are followed by the Vesperal Divine Liturgy of St. Basil which combines Vespers with the Divine Liturgy. During the Vespers, Eight Old Testament lections which prefigure or prophesy the Incarnation of Christ are read, and special antiphons are chanted. 
If the Feast of the Nativity falls on a Sunday or Monday, the royal hours are chanted on the previous Friday, and on the Paramoni the Vesperal Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom is celebrated in the morning, with its readings and antiphons, and the fasting is lessened to some degree a meal with wine and oil being served after the liturgy. The all-night vigil on the night of December 24 consists of Great Compline, Matins, and the First Hour. One of the highlights of Great Compline is the exultant chanting of God is with us. Interspersed between selected verses from the prophecy of Isaiah 8,9-18, foretelling the triumph of the Kingdom of God, and 9,2-7, foretelling the birth of the Messiah. The Orthodox do not normally serve a midnight Mass on Christmas Eve, rather, the Divine Liturgy for the Nativity of Christ is celebrated the next morning. However, in those monasteries which continue to celebrate the all-night vigil in its long form where it literally lasts throughout the night the conclusion of the vigil at dawn on Christmas morning will often lead directly into the celebration of the Divine Liturgy. When the vigil is separate from the Divine Liturgy, the Lenten fast continues even after the vigil, until the end of the liturgy the next morning. On December 25th, the after-feast of the Nativity of Christ begins. From that day to January 4th is a fast-free period. The Eve of the Theophany is another strict fast day. In the Coptic Orthodox Church, an additional fast is observed on the three days before the beginning of the Nativity fast, to commemorate the miraculous moving of the mountain of Mucatum at the hands of St. Simon the Tanner in the year 975, during the rule of the Muslim Fatimid Caliph al Mu'az Lidianila. Uniquely, the Armenian Apostolic Church celebrates Nativity on January 6. Their fast of Advent begins on November 19. They then observe a fast of the Nativity for one week prior to the Feast of the Nativity on January 6th.